Hey everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's episode of Overlanding Gear, Mods, and Do-It-Yourself, we're going to be talking about a total impulse buy that I made. It is not something that anyone needs, I don't think. Maybe. But it's something everyone should want. Like, it's pretty rad. Um, what I'm talking about is the Reaper 11015 VersaTac Wrecking Bar. Check this thing out. I mean, who? No, no one needs this. It's a pry bar knife. But it's awesome. So I'm going to be talking about this today. And why I bought this stupid thing. And how I'm never going to use it. But how excited I am about it. Despite the fact that I... I actually think that I will use it. I'm going to try my best to use this. Because it's freaking rad. Like, it's just cool. Um, so anyways, I'm going to walk you through all the features of this thing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the dimensions. I'm going to tell you about the uses and kind of what I'm picturing doing with this thing. Um, but uh, before we dive into that, I did just want to touch on my featured partners really quick. Uh, Overland Addict, they basically sell anything to do with overlanding. So, you know, all kinds of gear. Click through the link in the description below to check them out and all the stuff they sell. They've got a couple specials going on too. So if those are still live, there will still be links in the description below. Um, also, uh, Last US Bags Company, awesome, awesome US company on the West Coast. They make some amazing overlanding bags. So any gear you've got that you need to carry, they can they make a bag probably for it. Um, also, more Expo, awesome event coming up in February 2021. Very excited. I'm going to be there. I'm planning to go. So if you want to go too, click on that link below in the description below to... In the below below. I said below a lot. I'm going to leave this in. I'm not going to cut that out. I'm an idiot. Um, click on the link in the description below and you can get your tickets to more expo. Man, I should write poetry or something. Um, I, I haven't had any beer to drink either tonight, guys. I'm telling you. Um, but if you click through that right now, for the first 250 people, they're doing 25% off the tickets, which is one of the biggest discounts I've ever heard of them doing. So definitely click through that link below and get your tickets today. Um, and then last but not least, Northology Adventures. Again, great, great gal named Cindy, who uh, just put on an amazing expo slash uh, retreat type event that I went to that was a lot of fun. Um, but they do an overlanding slash outdoor travel and adventure type magazine. It's a digital magazine with beautiful photography, awesome uh, gear and stuff in it, awesome vendors and, and sponsors. It's just a really cool thing and it's free. So click through that link below, sign up for the uh, magazine and get your copy for next month. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into the review of the Reaper Demolition Bar. All right, guys, so I just unboxed this thing. It actually comes in one of those, like, plastic pack type deals so nothing too fancy but it's nice looking it's sufficient i don't care i ripped it open anyways um but so just to kind of show you some of the stuff of this it does come with this pretty nice branded little sheath for it it's got a buttonable clip on the back so you could attach it to a belt or you know whatever um and then that covers up the sharp end of it right on the other end then you've got a little pry bar which Again, it's not really something that I think I will ever probably need. I I don't know, but now that I think about it, like what if I had to do an emergency trail repair and had to get a brake rotor off and it was stuck? Having this in a drawer or something in my truck might be kind of nice or under the seat. It's a little hefty too, so if you had to hit something with it or someone with it, not a terrible thing to have either. Um, but again, it's it's pretty subtle. Like I mean, it's pretty good size. It's it's got some heft to it. And it's it's pretty strong piece of metal so I, I think it would do pretty well um so it's better than nothing right if i ever needed to pry something if something got stuck or something like that i've got a pry bar that doesn't take up a ton of room like a traditional pry bar um but it serves other features or other functions as well so here's some of the other cool things about it so it's got a four inch blade on it sort of a sharp so you could you know it's got like a poking sort of edge and it is sharp on that front but not as sharp as the main blade down here on the the front but this thing came really sharp like it's actually pretty well sharpened which i appreciate um it's also got this pull hook on it so you know for cutting like paracord or anything like that you've got that little hook thing there so you can you know easily cut through fabric or cordage so it does have sort of a pry bar edge on the front here so that's not actually sharp sharp but it's sharp enough that you could definitely get it in 
you know, and with the overall length, it's about 10 inches long. So with that kind of length, you have a pretty good amount of leverage. So if you needed to, you know, pry something up out of a piece of wood or something, you could do that. Um, it does have this multi sort of, you know, socket set thing in it. It looks like maybe like a 10, a 12, and a 14 or something, if I had to guess. Um, it does not tell you what size those are on the on the website, so I'll have to test it out to see. Um, but I do like that because, again, like, I do have a socket set, and when I go on longer trips, I take it, but I don't always take it. Um, so it's just nice to have an option to do something with. Um, then the pry bar part on the other end, as I mentioned, is pretty significant, but it does have a nail puller on it. Um, so if you were had to pull nails out or anything like that, you could do it. So you could use this almost. What I'm kind of picturing this for, honestly, is I'm, I'm trying to get a piece of land at some point where I could build some sort of like a little like lean-to or a little campsite or a little cabin or something at some point. Like this would just be a nice piece of like versatile tool, a, a nice versatile tool to have on you when you're out like kind of far away from places like working on a little like cabin or something like that and you just want to have as many tools as possible in as small of a package as possible. Um, so again... Overall, impulse buy, right? I, I saw this thing and I was like, ooh, that's rad. And it was only about 20 bucks. So it's not super expensive either. Um, so again, it's something that I'm probably gonna keep in my truck so that if I'm ever like working somewhere, working on something, um, need to price something out, I, again, you, you just never know, right? Like that's part of what is cool about overlanding is that being prepared for stuff is is the exciting part of it, right? So like just if, if the opportunity ever presented itself where I would have a need for this, I'd be like, ah, I have the tool, hold on. And I'd go to my little drawer system in the back and I'd grab this thing out and I'd be like, boom, I pulled your nail out for you, you know? So again, I get it, it's kind of stupid, but I do think it's kind of cool. So if you had uses for this, let's say you were a roofer or something and you just wanted something that was kind of small and just something that you could use if you needed it, this isn't a bad option. Um, Again, I'm just having it just to kind of be prepared and have it as a tool. And again, for 20 bucks, it was just a cool pickup. Kind of a neat little conversation starter uh, that you could talk about around a campfire, things like that. Um, so again, not a serious tool necessarily for me, but definitely something cool. And again, I'm excited to find a way to, to use this thing and make it make sense. Um, but I hope that, that if you were just looking for this this tool and a little bit more info on it, like if you were Googling it or Facebooking, or Facebooking, like if you were Googling it or YouTubing it, just trying to find more info, I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, if you're into gear like this, if you're into camping, overlanding, that kind of stuff, definitely click that subscribe button below because I make gear review videos like this every week um, and also do a lot of like overlanding stuff, do-it-yourself mods, things like that. So if that's stuff you're into, definitely click that subscribe button. Um, also in the description below, I've got links to Facebook and Instagram and I also do a podcast every week. So again, if you're into overlanding stuff, you want to hear about, you know, different gear that you need to go solo, that kind of stuff, like all that different sort of overlanding stuff, definitely check out the podcast and the vlog here on YouTube as well. Um, so, but again, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, post up in the comments below. I'm happy to answer every single question I get. And uh, thanks for watching. So again, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the Reaper 11015 tack bar wrecking bar demolition bar unboxing slash review. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.